Hello! In this video, we're going to take a look at how to export a course from Blackboard and import it into Canvas. To begin, log into Blackboard at blackboard.case.edu. While any browser should work, we recommend using one that is not Safari. Once logged into Blackboard, enter into your Blackboard course. From the control panel, we're going to select Packages and Utilities, then Export Archive Course. Next, let's click on Archive Course. We don't need to change anything here, so we can just click Submit to start the archive process. When you archive your course, it is still available in Blackboard to students. We're simply getting a copy of the materials to move to Canvas. Note that this process will not import student data, such as grades and assignment submissions. It can take a few minutes before the archive file is ready. You'll receive an email to your CWRU inbox when it's complete, or you can just stay on this page and click the small refresh button. Once the file appears, click on its name to download it. Now it's time to import the course into Canvas. To do this, you'll already need your Canvas course created. To learn more about creating courses in Canvas, check out our video detailing how to use the Canvas wizard. Log into Canvas at canvas.case.edu and enter into your Canvas course. From the course menu, select Settings. Depending on the size of your screen, this next button may appear on the right of your screen or at the bottom of the screen. We want to click on the Import Content into this course button. From the drop-down at the top of the page, select Blackboard 6789 Export Zip File. Click on the Choose File button and select the file that you downloaded from Blackboard. Please note that this should be a zip file. If you accidentally extracted it, you'll need to recompress the file before you can upload it into Canvas. Up next, select whether you want to import everything from Blackboard or just select items. If you choose to import select items, you'll be asked to choose those items after the file has been uploaded into Canvas. The final option you may want to change determines how dates are handled. If you used due dates and availability dates in Blackboard, you may want to select the option to adjust events and due dates. While you can shift due dates based off of the amount of days that have passed between the last time you ran the course and the current start date, I recommend removing dates. You can then add new dates using Canvas's calendar tool. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click Import to begin the import process. It may take a moment for the file to upload, but once it does, the page will update and show the file's progress. The file will go from queuing, to running, to completed. If you chose a Select Import, you'll see a button here asking you to choose your content to import. Otherwise, you can leave this page. Depending on the system load and the size of your file, the import process could take a few minutes to complete. You can return to this page to monitor the status of the file upload. Once the import shows as completed, you're all set. Your Blackboard content has now successfully been moved to Canvas. At this point, we recommend checking your course to make sure everything came over as expected. Some items, such as images and test questions, and rubrics, don't come into Canvas and will need to be recreated. Other items may have come over that you don't need, such as duplicate assignment groups on the Assignments page. Take some time now to familiarize yourself with where your content now lives, clean up anything that needs to be updated, and ensure due dates are set properly. If you have any questions or concerns about this process, please contact either Canvas support through the Help button in Canvas or the CWRU Service Desk at 368help or at help.case.edu. Thanks for watching.